Hi, good evening, everyone. Okay, so today is second of Jan, and we are left up with one month for uh, IIT Jam paper, right? So what I intend to do now is the following. First of all, in the next two three days, I will go ahead and I will wrap up all the questions of IIT Jam two thousand twenty four, whichever was pending. Most of them I had already done in the live lecture, but wherever you know it's pending, I just want to wrap up those questions so that you have all sixty questions in one place for you to practice. That's the first thing. The second thing is that. Um, over the next 20 25 days that we have i want to go ahead and i want to take after we do this paper i want to take some sessions on the important topics that can be asked in iit jam if you think that there is a topic which you want me to take first for example you think that ma'am you know all of us together we think that Difference equation is something we are not clear with, or differential equation is, is something we are not clear with, or solo model is something we are not clear with, right? So if you have a topic in mind that you think is something that all of you have together, it's a common topic which you want me to cover, you want me to revise first, I can pick up on that topic also. I can do some questions on that topic. We can revise that topic first. Otherwise, I'm going to go according to what I feel can be asked in exam and I will be bringing questions accordingly. Okay. So <clears throat> you can go ahead and you can put the important topics that you think you are not able to understand properly on your own and you want me to revise in the telegram group. And then what I can go ahead and what I can do is I can go ahead and if it is a common topic, if majority of you go ahead and tell me, ma'am, it's solo model, it's Roman model, it's linear programming, whatever, I will pick up on those topics first and we will revise them, right, in these uh, marathon classes that we are taking. Okay, so I'm going to cover all questions from question number one to question 20 from IIT Jam Economics. 2024 paper whichever has not been covered in class yet right so look and look at the first question try to do this question on your own all of you have already answered this but let's just try and see this question once so it says you're given a production function and you want to find out the absolute value of the elasticity of substitution so as we can go ahead and as we can see this is clearly this is clearly a cop Douglas production function. It's clearly a cop Douglas production function. Hai na? Usi ka hi transformation hai. So any cop Douglas production function, it has elasticity of substitution, which is one. Elasticity of substitution is one. So I could have written my production function as L to the power A into K to the power 1 minus A. And if you take log on both sides, that means a monotonic transformation, you will get this production function. And for these kind of production functions, we know that elasticity of substitution is 1. So that's the answer to this question. Of course, you can go ahead and take a larger root also. So you can find percentage change in K by L upon percentage change in MRTS and you will get the same answer. Same answer. Yaega. But there is no requirement. You look into the production function and you can simply say that it is going to be 1. Take it. Do the next question. Try to do this question on your own. Question number 5. Okay, so th again, another announcement. Um, this weekend, that means Saturday, I have decided 1 p.m., but I will confirm the timings to you. I'm going to take a class on union budget and survey. So we will go ahead and we will revise whatever has been uh, done in the union budget and survey of this year and last year. But still just try and answer this question.
So the correct answer to this question is absolutely. The correct answer to this question is answer number D. It is Pradhan Mantri Kaushal Vikas Yojana 4.0. So let me just give you some key features of this. You can just write this. The first key feature was that there was focus on emerging technologies. Mane, there was focus on artificial intelligence, robotic. You would have heard these words, blockchain. You would have heard words like internet of things. These are the words on drones, pe, 3D printing. Pe, is pe zyada focus tha, right? The second thing was that this was completely focused for the target audience. It was the youth, right? The youth in both rural and urban areas. In dono pe hi focus tha, mane, jo bhi school, colleges, dropouts, job seekers, haan, jo bhi youth generation hai, the focus was on that youth generation, right? And there was also focus that was given to women and marginalized community. So more focus was given to women and marginalized communities also. Right? Another thing which you kuch kuch cheezein jo words se samajhni chahiye. So Pradhan Mantri Kaushal. So Kaushal in itself means skill. Right? Vikas means growth. Right? So, the aim was to develop the skill of people. Jo bhi industry demand karta hai. Whatever skills are demanded by the industry, you want to develop those skills in the youth so that you increase their employability. You improve the employability of the youth, right? You give them on-the-job trainings also. To youth. To improve their employability. You give them better skills to improve their employability. And isi mein, this program, it was also integrated with something which is known as, and you would have heard of it, Skill India Digital Program. Skill India Digital Program. Right? So as part of Skill India Digital Program, agar aapko koi bhi resource ko access karna hai, uh, there are a lot of resources. You can have a look at that website also. Uh, you can access it through Skill India Digital Platform. This is a platform where you have a lot of uh, e-courses, e-resources available uh, to upgrade your skills, upgrade yourself, to upskill yourself. Right? And which ministry did this entire thing? So it was done by Ministry of Skill Development. I'm just writing quickly. So my writing... Let me know if it is clear and entrepreneurship. Ministry of Skill Development and Entrepreneurship, MSD. This was the name of the ministry under which, which funded this program, basically under which this program came. And how many youth were targeted? It was one crore youth which was targeted under this program. Okay. okay. Try to do the next question. Question number seven. Good. Everyone is saying B. But can you tell me what is the meaning of convertibility? Anyone, can you tell me what does convertibility mean? Meaning of convertibility? So when we say convertibility of rupee on current account, on current account. It means that you can use rupee, you can convert your currency for the purpose of transactions which are conducted in the current account. Freedom to convert your currency, jo bhi aapka currency, aap usko convert kar sakte ho dusri currency mein for trade related things. 
for export, for import, for trade related things. So that is called as convertibility of rupee on the current account. And when we say convertibility of rupee on capital account, it means freedom to convert the currency for the purpose of investment, for the purpose of foreign direct investment, for the purpose of portfolios. Money, whatever transactions are conducted in the capital account. Right. So if you are allowed to convert your currency 100 percent for capital account transaction, that is called as full convertibility of rupee on capital account. Right. When these 1991 reforms came into picture, so full convertibility to kabhi bhi nahi thi. Right. Neither on current account nor on capital account. Neither on current nor on capital. So during 1991 reforms, neither on current nor on capital account, full convertibility was given. Aisa nahi hai ki jitna bhi rupee hai, wo sara convert ho sakta tha trade ke liye, wo sara convert ho sakta tha direct investment ke liye, right? There was a limit which was, which was placed. Only in the period 1994, we started talking about full convertibility but that also only in current account so it's a process dheere dheere process was so by 1994 india achieved full convertibility but that also we achieved only in current account mane fully rupee could be converted to other currency for the purpose of transactions for the purpose of trade and then in 1997 there was a committee which was formed. Okay. And this committee, a very famous committee, hai, that was known as Tarapore Committee. This committee suggested how to do convertibility for the capital account. This committee ne suggest that how we capital account, ke liye kaise hum convertibility kar sakte hai, how we can do it, can we do full convertibility or only partial convertibility. This was done only by, suggested only by this committee in 1997, right? So it means definitely in 1991 full convertibility nahi hua tha capital account ka. So yes, the correct answer to this question is option number B. B is the correct answer to this question. Okay, so even now not 100% is there. You still have restrictions on full convertibility of the capital account. Current, yes, 100% is there. On capital, no, 100% is still not achieved, right? As of today, India allows current account convertibility fully, capital account partially. Take care. Do this one now. Try this one. Give it a try. 